Josh here. And Michelle. And we are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. And we're going to be doing a... Shore excursion bag. Yay! So we always bring a bag with us when we go on shore. Always. Yeah. With something, some stuff in it. You never know what you might need. So this is Michelle's bag. Very and tropical. it's very festive and can do that conga dun, 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 any longer. I, <laughs> I was taking was. The, this to work for a little bit and people were like, who's pink bag? bag is that? And I was like, oh, it's my vacation bag. No yeah. Deal. So it's it's a nice bag and I have a Jan Sport that I take and Michelle hates it. I hate it. it looks it's like, so little. It looks like eighth grade, but yeah, uh, I like it. Um, so here's this bag and so let's start with what we bring. Okay. Well, first of all. A hat. If you're not going to wear a hat, I would recommend that you bring one anyway. And because the sun in the islands can be very intense and it helps. Even for ladies, if you want to pack a hat as well, mm -hmm. uh, any kind. Because uh, the sun can be very hot and it can help. So, Okay. Um, so, what's up first? The fun times. Oh, the fun times. Welcome to Costa Maya. This is from when we went to Costa Maya. So actually, inside the fun times on the second page, okay. right here... There's emergency information, so it'll tell you when to be on the ship uh, from the port. It tells you what time you dock, and it gives you some information if something happens. So this is very good to bring with you, just in case. So, speaking of time... Oh, yeah. How do you know what time it is? You don't have a watch. That's right. We don't rely on our phones for time, especially when we're in port. Michelle bought this little cheap water-resistant watch from yeah, Walmart. Walmart and it's worked great and it's set to zero right now yeah but. but yeah we just set it to ship time and Michelle brings it to uh where's it on when we go to ports yep it's and really it's great useful. just a little cheap watch but yeah definitely and it's water resistant so what else we got cash money definitely bring cash and like we'll be spending it like this <laughs> on in the ports <laughs> but yeah definitely bring cash uh, we recommend bringing small bills. Um, you know, don't bring hundreds. I mean, come on now. Who do you think you are? Freaking Tony Stark bringing $100 bills. But it's yeah, definitely bring, bring ones. Bills. Bring ones. We bring a lot of ones. We bring fives. Uh, we bring tens for sure. And we bring some 20s, maybe one or two. We don't bring a lot of 20s. Maybe if a bigger item that we plan on buying. Uh, we'll bring a couple 20s. It's good to bring smaller bills because sometimes the vendors there don't always have change. Sure. And sometimes they'll give you change back in, like, pesos. And I don't I don't know if you guys know what change you're supposed to get in pesos, but I sure don't. No. So, so we, we encountered that when we were in Mexico. Yep. Once, though. We, we were actually in Mexico and they didn't. When we went outside of the port, of course, we yeah. got paid in pesos. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, and then also you can, uh, dicker with the people and get stuff barter? lower, barter, you can get stuff <laughs> lower and haggle with them too. And yeah. if you have smaller bills, you know, um, yeah, so that's how, what we do. What's next, Michelle? Oh, our identification, picture ID, you need that, <laughs> take that with you. Also, need your ship cards. You can't get on or off the ship unless you have your ship card. That's right. You need to take that with you. Now, this is one that we're up in the air about. What we take. We, do, we got our we passports don't. here. Now, if we plan on staying in the port, like in Port of, when we went to Port Amaya, we knew we were going to stay in the port. When we went to Grand Turk, we knew we were just going to Margaritaville, staying in a port. Um, now, we went to Cozumel, we took them because we knew we were gonna outside the port. Um, when we went to San Juan, we took them, even though, you know, we took them just in case because we know we're going to be outside the port. So, we take them when we're going to be outside the port. If we're going to be in the port, we don't take them because I don't feel like there's a need to take them if you're staying in the port. The important thing, though, is that you bring either a passport or a government-issued ID. So, you right. either have to have your, you know, driver's license, yep. photo ID, or your passport. So, one of those things you have to have. Yep. So, yeah. What's next, Michelle? Sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Mich now, I don't ever wear sunglasses. Never been a sunglass guy. Never have been. Never wore them. Um, so Michelle bring. So, yeah, Michelle does bring her sunglasses. Um, and so, yeah, she wears them a lot in the port. Of course, it's sunny. I just never have, so I'm just kind of used to it. I typically don't bring a hat, though, and I wear sunglasses, which I probably should start wearing a hat. Yeah, yep. What's next? 
bottle of water. We always bring at least one bottle of water. Now last cruise, we had the cheers package, so we went right to the bar, the atrium bar, and got two ice cold bottles of water. To bring to port. Every time. And we had four ports. So it worked out great. And yeah, they were ice cold and they were ready to go. Well, you but, never know when you're going to need something like that. Right. And, you know, and we're not, and then sometimes if we get thirsty, we'll buy a bottle of water in port, too. Mm -hmm. I and mean, we've done that in, like, Mexico and stuff when we didn't think to bring a bottle of water. But we definitely recommend bringing a bottle of water with you. Next up is, what is this, Michelle? That's ibuprofen. Medicine, because you never know, you might get a headache or get pains or something. You might need ibuprofen. And also you have this. Show uh, that This off. is just a dollar store basic... Hold it up. I know. Basic, uh, you know, first aid kit. So it's got some antiseptic. It's got some band-aids. I probably, I don't usually throw anything else in there, but you could. Right, yeah. It's just like a little simple uh, med kit, as you can see. Just in case. And yep. it's small, compact. You know, it's not anything like... I mean, we're not bringing like 50 million things with no. us. So. so, yeah, those are the two medicines we do bring. You never know. I think I had a headache in St. Kitts, and I did take a couple of these. So that helped out. I guess if you're drinking a lot, you don't need the medicine. But we weren't drinking that day. So we have this. It's bug. It's a bug wipe. Yep. You could bring bug spray too. These but are this is just more us. compact yeah. for us. Less weight. We have a couple that we bring. So So yeah, we've never actually had to put bug spray on. I've never had a problem with bugs at any of the ports I've been to. Um, and we even went through the rainforest in yeah. St. Kitts. And we, didn't we haven't had an issue. No. Nope. But we always bring them just in case. Right. And, and then, of these. course... You need to bring sunblock if you're in the Caribbean or in Mexico or whatever. Um, we definitely do bring these and we do reapply. When we were at Margaritaville, Michelle had to reply and she still got, she was Burn watching out. her son bake. She, I mean, self -bake. I mean, herself bake. That's what I meant. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is what we bring basically on every. Time we get off the ship. Yep, this is what we bring. If we're gonna go to a beach though, it's a little bit different. And now if we yep, so we bring all of this, but plus a couple other items. Um I bring now these are a ratted tighted mess, but I tried to undo them and couldn't and got ticked off. But I do bring <laughs> headphones because I like to listen to music while I'm relaxing mm -hmm. and hanging out or whatever in a lounge chair. So I bring my headphones. Um we do uh, bring our, well, I mean, we do bring our phones. We didn't show that. But we do bring our phones because we use it as a camera. And we also bring. Oh, our vlogging yeah, gear. Yeah, she forgot to bring that up. But we also bring our vlogging gear and extra batteries for the vlog and extra uh, memory card for our vlogging Literally, camera. it's just a camera, a stand, and batteries. We don't bring right. a ton of stuff. Yeah, it's not like a bunch of big setup. It's just very simple. So we also bring our phones because we use those to take pictures or video if we don't want to use the vlogging camera. Um, so yeah, and I, also I bring the headphones. So, But this is for the beach. The vlogging stuff is just general what we bring for our vlogging. So it's whatever. That's not, everybody don't bring that. So we just talked about it. So this is for the beach. What's next for the beach? We should bring a ship towel. We bring. A, this is our towel. It's like an old mm -hmm. one from like the 80s. So I just grabbed it <laughs> from my grandma. But yeah, um... We bring a towel from the ship. Um, so yeah, I, mean, I would don't lose that towel because they'll charge you money for right. it. Right. I would recommend bringing a towel from the ship because not all places I've heard uh, supply them. supply towels. Now I think I've heard. No, actually, I've never. I've never really heard a place like supplying them. Uh, did Margaritaville? I don't remember. No. So yeah, just bring your towel if you're gonna have a pool or beach day, or if you just don't mind drying off normal. Mm -hmm. Or laying in the chair without a towel, then you don't have to. But we bring a towel. Mm -hmm. So what's next? This is the last thing, actually. Yeah, this is the last thing, and this is something we just got. So, so this is for the beach day, and it's a safe to keep everything in here. Phones, um, money, passports, um, whatever we want to put in here that we want safe. I mean, medicine and stuff, we don't care. If someone wants to jack that, go ahead, man. Jeez. Whatever. So but our phones, passport ID, all that, we will be putting in this safe. <coughs> Hooked Excuse to our me. beach chair. So this is a new stable for us. So. Yep, we just got this. And we have a video, review video up of it. Go ahead and check that out. Um, so yeah, we'll be posting that. Cool. So let us know what you guys put in your bag. So, so maybe something There's some different missing. things here. And like I said... Um, I think the most important thing though is, is that your shore excursion bag, you know, generally should have some of this stuff. Like sunglasses right. and 
a sunscreen. Hat and sunscreen. But it's really personal to you. Yep, you, you modify it the way you want it. If you want to bring 10 pounds of junk, oh, go I ahead. Oh, I this. Sometimes we bring a koozie. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we do bring a koozie. just depends. If we need it for, like, if we're drinking out of the bottles and stuff, <laughs> we'll bring Excuse a koozie. Me. So, and Michelle has uh, contracted malaria <laughs> since we did this video. But, no, um, ow, whoa! Oh! My, I just kicked my dog and she bit my foot, An dude. accident kicked her. No, I, yeah, I didn't mean to. I just spread my foot. I was like, it's okay. Uh, she gets startled and she, she didn't bite me hard. She just, like, Grab grabs him. your foot. That's funny that that happened on camera. Uh... But we're leaving it. You know how we do. So Okay, so that's our bag. And if, you know, leave comments below if you uh, pack a bunch of stuff or don't take anything at all. I'd be interested yeah. if people just like walk off the ship with nothing. That would be cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. But Minimalist. Yeah. Minimalist. So cruising. just let us know what you guys do. Okay. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Go check our Facebook page, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and um, Shipmate app. We're on there, too. Yeah. Um, Ventures Ahead. And... We will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.